Hey, uh, my name is Nantugelelo Ngumalo. Uh, I'm a proudly South African, but I am based in Finland. I have been in Finland for the last, I think, almost 10 years now, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I'm, I'm making this video in my car because I'm far away from home and I didn't have a quiet place to do the video. So yeah, I hope also the audio of the video will not be funny or the sound won't be very funny yeah so you guys before we continue and i show you um the, the the police station and everything let us talk about my criminal record in finland so i'm from south africa and as i've said in the beginning guys and don't forget to subscribe please do not forget to, to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can get all the videos when i post so yeah guys um yeah when i came to finland i think it was 2013 if i'm not mistaken and i think in 2015 i was driving uh over speed it was 140 please don't judge me yeah it was 140 instead of 80 kilometer per hour and i got caught by the police and yeah i got a fine it was like i think 1600 euros if i'm not mistaken that is like almost i think 20,000 rands if you uh convicted and after that i kind of like yeah i didn't think it was gonna be a big deal and as well in 2018 if i'm not mistaken or 2019 i remember the time i had uh a q7 audi and on the four-way stop uh my car was so high i don't know what what happened that day but there was another car and that car was a little bit small that car was small so i didn't watch clothes i instead i watched feather and then i didn't see that car so the car did hit me police were called and yeah no one was hurt there was a a, a young child as well with he with his father and yeah we he just had a small bruise but yeah and i was so happy that it nothing happened uh, in that moment so yeah you guys sorry <laughs> someone just called so yeah you guys after that um yeah police were called and that was put in in the record i also didn't think that it was gonna be a criminal record or anything then um i think 2019 2019 i applied for permanent resident in finland and they hit me with we can't give you a permanent resident we're gonna give you more four years so this is how it works when i first came i got a permit for one year then i applied again for permit for four years now and i was living here and then after the four years because i was in the country for five years i do qualify to have a permanent resident and plus two i have a child in finland now so when i applied for permanent they were like no you have a criminal record yo you guys I was just like, but Tom, what do you mean I have a criminal record? I did not kill anyone. Like, I did not do anything to anyone. How is this, like, possible? Immediately, Kaizini, I took all the papers and I took, they did give me the four years, you know, the card, but I was waiting for permanent, you know. I took this and I went straight to the police station and I was just like, yo, wait, you guys, I've never stolen anything. Like, I'm not a thief. I'm not a killer. I'm not an anything. Like, how is this possible that I have a criminal record? And when I got there, they told me, no, you don't need to worry so much. If you do want to uh, take a lawyer for yourself and just, you know, take this to court, you can't do that. But we cannot issue um, a permanent resident because your criminal record you were found driving on a speed and also you were in this car accident then i started researching Uguzi. what if i was a finnish citizen would this be a record apparently if you're a foreigner or if you are in finland and you are not from here you are from outside anything that you do that is against the law honey they will take it in count that you have like messed with the law so yeah and i, I was just because i was so shocked like i was freaking out then i realized it was, okay now i'm living with this criminal record like you know guys even saying it with my mouth it's just like wait what what then okay they told me do not worry this is just gonna go away by time you just need to be like free for like don't 
don't do anything wrong for the next four to five years this is just gonna go away they also ensured me that if i'm applying for anything like job or anything this does not like show that that's okay you can't get a job because you did this you can't do this because no 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 no. they said no you can still live nicely in finland there's no problem the only thing is that we cannot give you the permanent resident if this haven't gone away yo what's wrong so yeah even at airports if you uh view my staying in finland or my record it does not show but only if i apply to be a finnish citizen it does kind of hurt because i mean like guys i i i just i find it strange that i've been here for this long and i need to keep applying for a permit not for a resident so now uh the rules in finland you have to uh study in finnish a university you have to have a point of 150 to 180 in order to apply without writing this a uh, finnish language test so i do qualify to apply uh now because i just graduated you know i'm actually graduating on monday on the 6th of june so i do qualify now the question to myself was like okay this happened a while ago so is it still in the system I mean, if they refuse to give me the permanent resident, can they give me now the, 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 the citizenship, you know? So, you guys, I said to myself, uh, I'm going to go on the internet. Again, most places in Europe, you just can't live if you don't use internet. If you don't understand how to Google things, how to do things, you just can't. Uh, you just can't survive, guys, here. You just can't survive. Because a lot of things and everything, you need to kind of like... Uh, go on Google and Google. So I went on, I called them first, you know, I called the police station and, uh, yeah. And after calling, I did ask them, you know, like, uh, where can I know if I still have this criminal record? What happened? They gave me some website that, uh, go on this website and then apply for the certificate. Uh, when you get the certificate, then you can, uh, know if this is showing or this is not showing. Batong, 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 batong. I never thought that I would just, you know, be in this position. Of course, I would like to say this, that I know that I did endangered people by over speeding. I was just kind of like late to work, which is not like an excuse. But yeah, I was late at work and where I was driving, it's kind of like in the bush. And I didn't think I would be seen. And as well, also... Like, there is no cars, you know, you hardly uh, find another car because it's not uh, in the big road. It's just a road that is in the bush, okay? But I will make more videos and you'll learn about Finland and you'll kind of see the kind of road I was in. Yeah, and yeah, the second, of course, uh, that, that accident that happened as well also. Um, yeah, I did endangered people, but guys, I just, I find it like... I don't know. I don't know. I just think, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like not fair, you know, just not fair. I mean, I should be forgiven for it, you know, and be allowed to stay here. I mean, I have a child now and I have a family, you know, but yeah, but rules are rules, guys. Do not break the rules. Rules are rules. So I started investigating as I'm telling you. Um, this, what I applied for, this certificate supposed to come on my mail. I haven't got it in the mail, uh, in the post box. And also I thought it was going to come on my email. Uh, so I haven't got it yet. So I went to the police station, which you would see on the next video. <laughs> you, you would see on the next video. I went to the police station the first day and honey, in Finland, you're also going to learn about the police and everything. It's not like, I'm so used to, of course, I've been in the country for a very long time, but I haven't been in situations where I need to use the, the, the police station or go to the police, you know, those kind of stuff. I've never been involved in that kind of situation and, and unless if I see the police uh, on the street. So I did my investigation after applying. I was kind of like, maybe I just go there and ask them, guys, can you kind of like check if this criminal record still exists? Is it still there? And honey, it was closed. Like, it was just closed. 
uh, in the police station there was like no one which I will tell you on the next video how a police service is working in Finland but you cannot have a case on the streets and think in the daytime okay let me run and open a case because somebody have robbed me let me run to the police station honey you will not find any police you it would be open but like literally where I live you you don't find anyone you do not find anyone but I'm gonna tell you because I don't want this video to be too long I'm gonna tell you in the next video uh, when I got there what happened and the situation when they checked which was more faster than waiting for the mail when they check what they said and <sighs> yeah guys in so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and yeah guys i want to work with you in this journey and i also want to educate anyone who want to move in europe or in finland how things work especially when you are a foreigner how careful you need to be because this will hunt you and when you need something from the government this kind of like pop up from time to time you might just think no it was just over speeding you know like i over speeded or i was caught not like everybody who drives on the road they keep on driving like they drive with 40 kilometer per hour in a road no people drive 60 kilometer you know they would drive 70 you know i'm not like kind of um making an excuse with what i did I do find that I did break the law. Yes, I did break the law. Um, and yes, there's other people who does break the law in the country. It's just that they didn't get caught or they don't get caught. But it was unfortunate that I did get caught. So if you're a foreigner and you live in Europe or in any other countries, please do follow the rules because these things are just like, yeah. So guys, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, on the next video... I'm going to explain and I'm going to show you also what I'm talking about, about the empty of the police station, not having the police in there, not being able to just walk in and say, hey, I need help with this and this and this. You have to book an appointment. If not an appointment, you don't find anyone. But I will show you that on the next video. Thank you for being here. Love you so much. Do not forget to subscribe. And don't forget to do the ticket tick. Unfortunately, I'm in the car and I can't do the ticket tick. Yes, honey. So this is like part one. So we're going to have part two. Bye.